um, the music? How did you get involved with the composer and music for it? Yeah, well, Ryan and I are cousins. We we grew up oh, okay. we grew up making movies and music together, like since we were since we were kids. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we when Ryan uh, wrote his first movie, Brick, he he asked me to come on board for the score, and we we just kind of have kind of been making movies together for like since we were ten. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. it's hard working yeah. together. As well. We work together. It's hard working yeah. together. Yeah. Um, no, it, no, it actually feels. I make it easier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. 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 we're oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You tell us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it makes it easier. Yeah. Sometimes. You know so. that person's going to show up. You know they're going to be there. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. 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 And there's also like kind of like a brutal honesty you can have with each other. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, because you have that history together, and also because you know you're not going to. Yeah. It's not like you're going to storm out the door and like not see totally. each other. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So when you started the music for um, for the movie, did you go by, did you do your music by character? Did you do by yeah. scenes? Yeah. Does Ryan give you a vision? Or how does it work out? Yeah, the way uh, the way this started, which was actually very different from the last two projects we did, but um, it, uh, we started with with atmosphere, really. Um, the, the world of Looper is, it's like sci-fi, it's yeah. futuristic, but it's not slick future it's like very grounded in, in like reality and sort of sort of broken down and um so we early on we started talking about this idea of like you know this is going to be a big action movie but we don't want it to be a traditional big action score what if we what if we start with field recordings and um and so I went down to New Orleans while they were shooting the movie and I wandered around the city like gathering all these different sounds and then began like manipulating those sounds, to make, making them tonal, you know, pulling rhythms out of them and so it was very much an atmospheric start, uh, yeah. While that's a record? You just went down to New Orleans before they started filming the movie? We, while they were filming it, filming yeah, it. yeah. Oh, wow. And how did you base, um, do you write the themes based on it? Because you have an old Joe and a young Joe. Right. So, um, for Bruce Willis, do you base writing stuff with the characters or just like their scenes? There, yeah, the, I mean, often I'll write from characters. It, this this one, there's like kind of one main theme and it, it expresses itself in different ways based on the younger character or the older character. And that was a big decision. Obviously. Yeah. Because the previous stuff we've done, he has written like a different, like yeah. Peter and the Wolf style theme for each character with this. It was a really conscious thing to pair it back. And it yeah. And how long did it take you to write the, the music for the movie? Well, I worked on Looper for about a year altogether. Oh, wow. Yeah, which was which was a great luxurious amount of time to have on it. And when you write your music, did you play a piano or a guitar? Uh, I kind of like the I kind of write from a bunch of different perspectives. I mean, with this, I was like literally starting from from these from these sounds. Um, so I was, you know, we. We made, there's like, a, you know, one of the instruments is like a synthesizer made out of an industrial fan. So it's, it's like this fluctuating pitched sound that you can actually play on a piano, like, you know, like on a MIDI trigger thing. Um, so, so yeah, it wasn't so much starting with like certain instruments necessarily, it was kind of working with, with themes atmospherically. <laughs> Wow, that's it. that's it. that's interesting. And now, um, want to find out when you started doing your composing? Was there one artist or one song you listened to that made you want to be a composer? I I actually kind of came from a from a from a different perspective on it. I was I kind of came from the the world of um of songwriting and and band things and. Uh, I had uh, I had written an album with my band, which was like a narrative story album that kind of had like a graphic novella as part of the liner notes, and um, and it was right around that time when Ryan was finishing Brick, and um, so yeah, so it, it was kind of like, hey, would you be interested in taking a stab at this? And I hadn't thought too much about actually composing for film before that, so I sort of jumped into the deep end. This album that he made, it was kind of a concept album, and it, it told the story and so the whole thing was when I listened to it it was, it was a great album with great songs it also though felt very much like film score because there was a story going on the music was very dramatic and expressive in terms of telling each scene in a very you know uh, narrative style way and, 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 and I just figured it 
probably translators. Uh, and you being a director, how important do you feel is the music, is having your original music in your movies? When the first thing you look into it, you just plan it with the music. I mean, it's, it's vital. It's, you know, it really is like the... Uh, it's incredible how much it, it elevates it and informs it. I mean, even to, even down to the very start when in the writing process, listening to music is a big part of that, like just getting in the right tunnel headspace for it, you know? So um, it's both the very first thing and kind of the very last thing you end up dealing with. Them, you know? Now, you said you've worked on it for a year. How long were you working on it? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, the original idea I came up with like 10 years ago. But I, really, I, just, I guess I started writing the script at this point um, about four years ago, I guess. So wow. it's been, you know, long ago, like four or five years. Wow, it's supposed to be a, a, big, a big feature. Wow, that's yeah. a lot this, so this is your, um, your third feature. What do you think makes me more different than your past? <laughs> never... Oh, well, it's a very different kind of movie. I mean, it's um, Rick was kind of like a weird little detective movie. Brothers Bloom was very lush and romantic. This is gritty science fiction. This is, you know, uh, this is, is, is violent, but also hopefully very redemptive at the end of it. And it's, uh, it's just totally different in every way from the other two, um, which feels really good just to kind of branch out and try something new, I guess. Stretch a couple different things. It's been challenging being a writer and then being a director and setting it all up. Uh, Do you find it challenging or does it all just blend No, together? it's fun. It all kind of, I mean, because, you know, we talked about how we used to make movies together when we were kids. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're doing that, it's not like there's a writing process and a directing process. It's all just making a movie. And so that's how I kind of still feel is that, you know, it's hard for me to imagine doing going doing the process, you know, you know split apart like that. It, it really is just all one process of telling a story. Yeah. So what are you guys working on now? <laughs> Do you have a new movie or anything working I'm trying on? to write something and yeah. Nathan's uh, working on some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got a few things <laughs> on the boiler. <laughs> together or separate? Or? Eventually or together. together. Right. I mean, whenever, whenever I whenever you come up. <laughs> <laughs> He's the first call I'm gonna make. I gotta, I gotta write it. You got it, Think of something, right? What two cousins who've been writing yeah. together, making movies together since they're about ten? Yeah, you can do yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, That's a good idea. I like that. I would say about sisters that work together as journalists. Thanks, Thanks a lot for talking. Yeah, yeah. Nice to talk with you.